So I've been interested in atrial fibrillation for most of my career, but really began getting serious about treating atrial fibrillation uh, both concomitantly and as a standalone procedure more than 10, maybe 15 years ago. It's a very common problem for us. It's highly symptomatic and highly correlated with major morbidity, stroke morbidity, and death. Not only in patients that have lone AFib, but also in patients that we treat every day for other disease processes, coronary disease, valve disease. As I got more and more interested in it, um, I began to explore more and more ways to treat it. I do the vast majority of my coronary surgery off the pump and I've used a lot of my experience in treating patients minimally invasively for standalone atrial fibrillation to influence what I do for patients concomitantly for coronary disease. I have advocated a burden-specific lesion set um, that uh, is going to make sense and provide efficacious treatment for atrial fibrillation in the concomitant setting for coronary disease. We know that if atrial fibrillation can be treated effectively, you're going to reduce the morbidity and mortality to that patient, not in the short term, but also in the long term. I think this is the sort of thing that will build bridges in your practice to help you not only build a practice of atrial fibrillation, but also consider um, other uh, situations. You're going to grow your practice. This is an opportunity to increase volume. Any one of those reasons should be an important reason why someone would consider doing this.